is Ice Cream Social, so we have a, it's an annual event that residents come out and you know they get to familiarize themselves with city staff, the fire department, you know the police department, and it just gives them an opportunity you know outside of the traditional city hall to interact with the city, and, and it allows the staff to interact with the residents, you know, in a different type of setting. So that's really helpful for the residents and the and the staff also. What's not to love about the Falcon Heights Ice Cream Social? We've got our fire department here, a couple of trucks, lots of firefighters, lots of kids crawling around the trucks and having a great time. We have a super band playing all the hits, great activities for kids to do, and last but not least, ice cream. It is the Ice Cream Social, so you can get yourself a bowl of great tasting ice cream or a root beer float. just to meet the people and just to get to know them. I mean, it's, it's nice to get a face to a name usually. You know, usually they're calling City Hall and they're, they're asking great questions and just what's going on. And, and the city tries to be as transparent as we can be and just give them the information and just talk to them. So I, that's what I enjoy most is just seeing the interaction between people. My favorite part of the Ice Cream Social is to reconnect with my neighbors, meet new people, and uh, talk to them about um, what's happening with the city and uh, how they can become involved with the city. And um, it's just a, a wonderful time to reconnect and to meet new friends and see new faces. People should come to the Ice Cream Social because we have our fire department here, we have our police department, we have games. They get to check out our uh, lovely community garden, which is extremely popular. We have about 30 garden plots, and every year we have a waiting list. We're right in front of the tomatoes. You can see they have marigolds planted at the edge. Marigolds are thought by some to repel bunnies and other creatures. Um, looks like things are growing pretty well. They've got, I see onions and um, uh, beans and um, these look like Roma tomatoes, don't they? The kind that you use for paste. Um, Master Gardeners are a group of volunteers that are trained by the University of Minnesota Horticultural Department and um, our mission is to help the home gardener with any problems that they have, whether it be um, any plant related problems or insects or plant diseases or um, just general gardening information that would help the homeowner. So if you wanted to have a Master Gardener come to your community event, just Google Ramsey County Master Gardeners and that would take you to our website and there'd be a contact um, name and phone number there. And um, we like to go out to various places in the community and um, like I say, we haven't been here before, so this is a new one and it's always fun to go out to new places. Well, we have a very active community, number one. We have a lot of volunteers uh, on our city commissions and who volunteer in their neighborhood in, in a variety of different ways. And so I don't think you find that in every, in every neighborhood. And so we're very fortunate to have great neighbors, great citizens, and a great community.